of Jack in distress. Jack, oh, are you okay? Occupied. <laughs> Jack, why are you throwing up at the toilet? Like... You're another one who's. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did, did... <laughs> did we just arrive at Nashadar, or like? Well, no, you're traveling to Nashadar now. I, well, there. Why were you sick again? I can't remember. Oh, oh. Uh, so you know how like when someone who's really unfit goes through like an uh, intensive training regimen. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Imagine that for the force. It just, it's not so much the physical parts of it. It's the I had a flow of battle meditation going for me and sense up the entire time, and my body's just unused to it. Now here's what it could be really fucking detrimental to me if he just goes Cora and Astrid's like, wait, Cora did this to you? Oh shit, here we go. <laughs> it's on now. Because yeah, as far as I'm aware, you had no input in that fight other than teaching me sort of a new style of attacking. It's so Jack. He's a natural. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah astrid's kind of like pounding on the door and just like jack i'll be fine just jack on kinds <laughs> all right whatever you say mm. all right Astrid's that's gonna just... head off and i'm gonna prepare the thing <laughs> the oh, <God>. thing <laughs> yeah i messaged you about this uh, so, as Astrid goes into the office, she opens one of the hidden compartments that, not necessarily a bad hiding place, but it's just super inconvenient, so you're not very likely to open it. And she just kind of rips off a bunch of sticky notes on it and crumples it up, and then uh, hands you- I love how you... that's a statement. I have so many hidden compartments, <laughs> like, which one's the most inconvenient to hide things in? I mean, pretty much everything is a hidden compartment on this ship. Basically, right. Enjoy so, is that why is that shit so tiny? I don't know, but um, get bigger. She uh, hands you the uh, wrapped box with little wrapping paper. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna go in and close the door before I. <laughs> is it wrapped nice or is it just duct taped together? She wrapped it very nicely. Okay. Then I'll, I'll take out my boot knife and open it carefully. <laughs> Uh, Astrid is practically vibrating. You, you mean your redneck lightsaber? Yes, my redneck lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I might actually change the weapon macro to say redneck lightsaber. <laughs> Carry on. What does Jack see? Um, <laughs> as you open the box, there's uh, three things. There is a uh, card that says congratulations it's and then instead of anything it's like a piece of loose leaf t paper uh with two peaches pieces of scotch tape on either side that says badass uh a positive uh pregnancy test and a handbook for uh dads and like kids and stuff you wearing a helmet no okay well, this was going to be a case of you can't see, but I'm wearing a helmet. Prank you. <laughs> Prank you. Yeah, he's just going to pause for a second, just start staring you in the face. Clearly trying to work out if you're fucking. Uh, she this... just looks genuinely super excited. This? Really? No, it's not a prank. I'm going to be a dad! He just leaps. Yay! <clears throat> she just holds you really tightly. And it gets quieter. My tiss is listening. Shit. I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adam. Jack hears in, hears in his mind, I'm always listening, Jack. God damn it. <laughs> I don't care. I was gonna be a dad. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. I was so excited. I just had to tell you, but you were gone doing things, so I thought I'd make a little present for you. Jack's like vibrating with excitement. Astrid is also vibrating with excitement. So much oh, vibrating. Knocked out. <laughs> 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 it's vibrating too much. Is there an earthquake on the ship? <laughs> No, just no. A, just a surge of wholesome excitement. 
Yay! Got a talent for I, I was thinking sex toy, but maybe this is me. Maybe you're it is just that. you. <laughs> Sibby, come on, man. Fucking sex. Sibby, for fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Why, okay, Sibby, every even time? Though, even though technically this is, because that's how <laughs> Babby made, but still. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the stork man and the cabbage patch. No, 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 it's the midichlorians. Well, <laughs> I don't even... Thing. There's only one thing to do. Jack takes your hand, strides towards the cockpit, slams off hyperspace. And starts oh my trying god. To call his parents. Because you can't get good signal in hyperspace. Wait, so did we just drop out of hyperspace for like no particular reason? Purely to do that, yeah. We're not gonna be in an asteroid field, are we? Yeah, the rest of you are all just gonna be suddenly Fuck. woken by slamming you... against your wall. Adam, are you sure <laughs> you didn't drop us out into an asteroid field or something? I don't care. We're all woken <laughs> by slamming, in Klein's case, into his wall, in you and Cora's case, uh, out of your bed onto the floor. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't in I was meditating. Well, then so, just yeah. slamming into the wall. Jack is too busy in the cockpit trying to call his parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, assuming the cockpit is lost. It's locked, isn't it? No. Actually, just give me a second. Is that some sort of emergency, Captain? Even better. better. Look, We're having I a just, baby! I pull you in real close to look at the test. I, I, I see. Well, congratulations. But I was having a good night's sleep there. Okay, what, what's the ship doing? <clears throat> I've got to tell them. Seeing as <laughs> so you for a moment. See, seeing as people in ever. the uh, cockpit are actually happy and no one seems to be, you know, panicking because fucking battle, Teaser just assumes that everything is fine. Because sense, ah, I can send your mental states. I feel joy back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I have to say Jack's just going to be proceeding no. like an excited puppy. Actually, no, she does come out of the quarters. Literally everyone he knows to tell them. Right, so, everybody's celebrating. We, yeah, you continue um, on. Except just for assume Cora, I call everyone asleep. I know. Well, yeah. I'm not asleep, I'm passed out. Yeah, even with walking with a ship, Cora probably fell out of her bed or something when the ship decelerated. Yeah. <laughs> Since I can't protect Before myself. I go, uh, to bed, I'm going to make sure to put Cora back in her bed. <laughs> Right, so, the next day comes around. And everybody is back at their full strain and full HP and stuff like that. <laughs> Everybody's still alive. But some of us have splitting fucking headaches. Oh, because yeah. Because of two reasons. First, too much force use. Second, we hit our head. <laughs> I'm just imagining she probably busted her head open or something last night. <laughs> I would have treated your wounds. Still hurts, though. <laughs> Why? <Well, I'm> <laughs> worth it. Especially since I'm not the one feeling the pain. Look, I got the shit kicked I'm out of me yesterday. I'm gonna put my pain in your soul. The best day ever. Right. <clears throat> uh, Kane steps out of his room. <clears throat> comes over to the cockpit. Good morning, Captain! Morning! Shit, you no. smile on his face. I'm assuming we've got some sort of actual paying mission on our hands soon, because so far, credits have been quite sparse. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. the plan is... Orville gave me some information about a mark. We're gonna be stopping Narshadar to get some supplies, work out a plan, then... <laughs> Taking oh. this collection for uh, Astrid, since you weren't here last time, uh, real quick before I forget, you have 2,750 credits, that was our split. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, then we should be taking his collection for every penny it's worth. Keynes looks satisfied. As long as it's not another Sith Temple! <clears throat> It's not another Sith Temple, is it, Ash? <laughs> Pardon? No, it's, it's not, not another Sith Temple, is it? Oh god, please tell me it's a super secret Sith Temple. Okay, wait, what what, what are you after? I'm confused. The, the heist plan. <laughs> no, no, it's not, though. No, no the, the way I'm saying it is that 
before Bill gave me some background information and then when we get to Narshadar we're going to do some digging, get some supplies, work out a plan, mm -hmm. you know, get all the logistics down and then I'm going to spend some money so I can buy the gun, but, you know, acquire it via heist. Uh, also, Ash, uh, do we need to bring the bussel or the ECM jammers? What's for this? Uh, what's what do we need for this one? You need to bring them all, sadly. But I want. I'm going to hope this is like Ocean's Eleven. Oh, Ocean! Speaking of Oceans, it's on Mangala, oddly enough. It's Ocean's Eight, isn't it? No, it's no, just one big off. ocean. Fuck you! That's not a good feel. No, it's Ocean's be One because it's mm -hmm. just one big ocean. Yeah, Ocean's One. It's <laughs> just one big ass ocean. It's on Mon Cala. Now I'm the one getting fucking triggered. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're gonna go to uh, his home planet, oddly enough. <clears throat> Are we gonna yeah. see the dog swim in his natural habitat? Is he gonna show us the way of how to make fish ups? Exactly. When you swim all day, you naturally get fish ups. Do you know the way? I actually breathe water as a racial ability. I don't know about you people. <clears throat> That's part of the equipment. I do not. <laughs> I see through the force as a racial ability. Oh, I'm pretty good at flying. Chose not to buy three points in it. That's one of my racial abilities. And I have a vacuum sealed suit. And I have a massive headache. <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, I'll um, I'll wait till everyone's actually woken up and ready uh, before I'll inform them of the gist of it. And that while we were talking with Orville, I pulled him aside and we had a little conversation about a mark on Moncala. I'm looking forward to heading back to my home planet. It's been a while since I finished it. <clears throat> That's actually part of why I chose that one. I was hoping to give us an advantage. I know you're going there to steal things. What a lovely home visit. After we land on Narshadar, we can pick up any gear we need there. We get pretty much anything. Captain, I'm interested in who exactly we're stealing from. Well, the mark's name is Ash. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ash. Look, I don't know. Only that's so it. far I can obstruct. I was doing that so you had time to prep and plan and do things. I don't actually have a fucking clue. Right. If you want to know who it is that you're going after, the person's name is apparently Suzavani. One second. Susavani Henva. Are you please type that down for the benefit you... of the heist planning? Can I roll Can I to recognize that name at all, Ash, or is it not a famous person? You On could color. roll. Uh, education? I'm going to say yes, and that, um, and there's no advantage. Uh, just increase one of the. Just increase it. Your dice by one. To more greens, in other words. Okay. Don't you mean upgrade the dice to yellow? No, because that's not more. That's not more chance of success. Oh. What? So, hmm? can I roll? Um, sorry, education for that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm nice. Essentially, this person is an apparently quote unquote retired person who came to Moncada to relax and chill out. He's not actually one of your race. Okay. Apparently, rumors have spread that he bought his way in essentially to live on the planet. Because, as you know, only real aquatic people live on the planet. He's just bought himself a nice little home there, you know? Okay. okay. Uh, I relay that information. <laughs> so apparently he bought his way in, and he's been there ever since. Good. And any man that can buy his way onto that planet must have a sizable collection. In fact, I'm looking for a specific pistol I heard he had. Excellent. I've already worked it out with Efo, so we should have most of the fences in order. 
but if we find anything extra special, that's always a bonus. Personally, I don't have any ob objections. I looked around the group. Anyone else here? Uh, actually, <clears throat> Adam. I'm Adam. Here's can I quickly go over like who this guy was again? Hi, uh... Oh, uh, like, he's hi. an incredibly wealthy off-planet businessman who decided to retire when no one would ever bother him. Oh. <clears throat> he uh, was wrong. Jack. Yeah? In which area did he make his fortune? Ah, <laughs> You don't know the full extent yet. I mean, not even he knows, so you may have to dig deeper. That's part of planning. We don't actually know too much about him other than the tip off all the game. But mm. you can buy anything on Narshida. Um, He's not a native, and he can afford to lose some artifacts. Uh, since uh, Cora is lying down, all you see is her uh, outstretched hand uh, from the other side of the table. Yeah? I thought you were a smuggler, Jack. Yeah, I'll be smuggling those artifacts to the more deserving owners. Yes, that's called being a thief. Only if you get caught. You know what? I, I don't think I'm in any condition to argue right now. Uh, I just want to make one thing crystal clear. Astrid knows, but we didn't have time to discuss it with you. Um, I'm gonna need a favor soon in the form of somebody getting on board. Uh, if we do this job, can I trust that, you know, we're not gonna have a problem with me bringing this person on, on board? That depends who the person is. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the touchy part. I'm not sure. Best I can do is I'll agree to meet him. Sounds, sounds fair. Anyway, as for the, uh... As for the heist. I was hoping you might be able to slip in ahead of the group and do reconnaissance. After all, a man that wealthy surely has a need of some stuff. You could probably charm your way in, no problem. Sure, just let me get something for the splitting headache and I'll be back in arms in no time. Ideally, but before we do now... this, I'd like to find out how this person came into power. Depending on how he made his money, we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, that's why the first thing I'll be doing in Narshadar is getting some information on him. I want you all to listen to Kynes and stock up on anything he thinks we'll need on Moncala. Then I can get a specialized set of mission gear once we've got more information. Sounds good. I do want to do some personal shopping myself. I had to use up that uh, spike uh, we were holding on to from our uh, big uh, heist in that, uh, well, hangar. I would re very much like to get another one. Those things are very useful. You wish to go to Nishidi. Nishidi. Yep. And also, once we get there, I'm also gonna... You had the list of shit I was buying, I've already <laughs> taken off money and added it on. I just... Just assume I also do that while we're there. Nice, nice. I mean, yeah, same here. I I'm saving the list. time! <laughs> <laughs> um... Nope. Nurshadur! Yeah. You have come onto a planet in Nurshadur, hanging above... The lovely jewel within the galaxy now, Hutter. Just don't go down there, or you will die of all the Noxus rubbish down there. It's a very bad place. Never go to Nahata. Ever. That's right. Unless you really want to. Hey, Ifo says that as well. <laughs> He's yeah, like, no. When don't. he says it, it's not racist. <laughs> I'm Ifo, you fuck. That, that's not <laughs> it, it, it was like, we don't go there anymore. <laughs> we don't go there. It is a dark, smelly place. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up, my hutters? Well, actually, uh, you do find some guy because you got that little tracker. But it looks like, well, he's next to a ship. Oh? Is he already preparing to leave? Yes, it looks like it. I'm gonna slowly approach him uh, and wave at him 
and uh, greet him and shake his hand, you know, you too. <clears throat> ah, it is good to see you. Good to see you too, you old soup seller. I see you're getting ready to leave. You wouldn't happen to be heading for Kurile, are you? Well, of course. I mean, that is where the best soup is being sold right now. You know my meaning. <laughs> Speaking of which, I was kind of uh, looking for a little more soup before you leave. You know, for good old time's sake. Mm. I don't have much, but uh, tell me, what do you need? Uh, those spikes uh, proved uh, pretty useful and recently I used up my last one. I was hoping I could get a fresh one from you. Mm -hmm. What is the place we came to last time? I cannot remember. I believe you I... gave me uh, one for 800. So I do believe that uh, since we're business partners now, you take into consideration our 20% agreement. Very true. Mm, let me think. We will go for straight 700, how is that? Sounds good. I'll take two if you can. Fair enough, one moment. He's gonna go fly backwards, search through all the boxes, pick up uh, two of them, and hold them out to you, without any worry. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, friend. Uh, I'm gonna give him the credits, and I'm gonna shake his hand as I pocket them. He's nodding. I hope you find those very useful. Can open many doors. Yes, they have proven quite useful. I will look forward to using these ones as well. The shopkeeper is actually one of your race. Oh shit, <laughs> that's my entire <laughs> Greetings, my name's Dr. Tangelofedorf. Medical officer from the Republic. Just seeing how he responds to that. Does he look oh, happy or, or sort of irritated? Um, when you say that, he doesn't look like much. The odd thing is, he looks a little bit, how do I explain, high. High? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oi, hello, my brother. How you doing? Uh, well, we're looking to uh, make a deal on your underwater underwater travel package for non calamari non calamari species. <laughs> ah, you have heard about this, of course. I can get you this. Are you okay, there, friend? You look a bit nonplussed. I is enjoying life, my brother. Can I, like, try and ascertain what he's on? At least, like, sort of see what realm of drug he's on. Oh, he's not on anything, he's just Space Dutch. <laughs> you could, uh... You medicine could check. medicine, yeah. yeah. Fuck! You, you definitely Fuck know me. it's a, a mild hallucinogenic, it's just that he's probably dealt with harder drugs in the past, but, you know, he's on mild okay. hallucinogenic now, so... <laughs> His mouth is a bit adult, but... I lean, lean forward with slightly hushed ch tone. Listen, if you can get me a 25% discount on that package, I can give you some hallucinogenics that will offer you a good time. Ah, oh, a trade. Hmm. Uh, you, I want you to try a negotiation, but I want you to put uh, two blues on top of that. Nice. Just looks at you. Mm, that's some good shit right there, oh, right there. Uh, that's some good wow. shit. Wow. Mm, good shit. Good that's shit. It. Wow. Fuck me. <laughs> Wait, you have a you have a yellow? Yeah, I I had a point in negotiations despite fuck it not me. being. Okay. <clears throat> so it's like this sounds like a great deal, my brother. I tell you what, the discount to extend to entire store credit if you can supply me with some mild things. Excellent, glad to hear it. I also need a... Uh, if you can get legal drugs as well, uh, something for my mind. Uh, I only do the light stuff now, my brother, but uh, it leave me a bit adult when I did the... Harder stuff back along. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I I shove some like hardcore antiseptics under the desk. Uh, a, yeah, <laughs> nice. But not just, the rust out of your system. <laughs> he'll feel very numb for a few hours. 
Nice, brother. Okay, I, I give me a number of shipping dock and I will get it ready. <laughs> yeah, I give him the shipping dock number. Uh, how much is that with the discount now, Ash? That sort of underwater travel package. I don't. Is anybody uh, doing uh, some information gathering on your target? Uh, me and Astrid are going to go to Jonah Wraith, the information broker we met in the first session. Fuck me. I'm yeah, here bitch. To look. I keep notes. He also <laughs> owes me a favor. Uh, I like how you think. So you're going to ask him for I'm a favor on this person, yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to say, <laughs> you know that favor you owe me. <laughs> you don't even have to roll since he does owe you a favor. Good. I'll cross off that favor. See you guys? It's all about Apple planning. I don't know. <laughs> he looks pretty fit. <laughs> You've got some competition, Astro. Oh my god, he's running some kind of mafia, isn't he? He, he so looks like the type. Do you know what the worst part is? His genitals are made of metal. <laughs> he's teasing himself. This is the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> you don't know, maybe that's just his. Is he actually pad. just crawling in women? There's like swimming. four of them. He's on that's that. It's swimming. Sounds dirty. <laughs> that's swimming. essentially for that's essentially for last. But that's uh, one of the pictures that were taken at one of his parties at his house. Okay, so he's not actually has women clinging onto him repeatedly. Right, twenty four seven. Not twenty four seven. No. Well, I have some qualms robbing him, considering I'm gonna be running a mafia myself, and I feel like we're about to start a war. But no, no, it's okay. The plan is. For you to get a job working as whatever it is, you know, you can charm your way in. Then you get us a m more thing of the layout, you know, something on the computer systems, and then we can just in and out when we've got a more detailed plan of it. We'll see. Basically, you're gonna, you know, note down the layout of the place. If we can't get that already in schematics, I'm assuming by that you mean that times. I'm gonna have some kind of small camera or something, right? Well. Are you bugged right now? It's a question you have to ask yourself. I'm gonna assume the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Everyone is bugged right now. Even Kynes, he just accepted a bug without even realizing it. I'm gonna tell you now, no one knows about the security system. There will be a map in the schematic of the house when you go and rob it, so you do have that. Brand. Essentially, the vault is dead in the middle of a house. So it's not no walls actually connecting to it. Um, what else? There is something, though, which uh, you ask Ifo about any of this? Yeah, I get gathered information all around. Right. Ifo does mention the fact that... Uh, if someone influential enough or just one of his friends were to come over for a visit, he would probably hold a party then, because he tends to hold impromptu parties, not scheduled ones. I'm going to get uh, Astrid in charge of basically looking into information on anyone we might be able to arrange a party with, and then we'll to infiltrate Cora that way. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to buy a drill. To, uh, sort of get into the house. Make sure Actually, to get the upgrades to make it silent, and then when you hit it, 30% chance to reset. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then. Um, God damn it! And then we're also gonna need to get everyone ion blasters. Oh. To deal with droid guards. So far, that's the only thing that's really hitting me as like specialist gear. Anyone got any suggestions? What about the escape plan? The escape plan is to swim the fuck away. Well, we need to hide our gear somewhere just without swimming, it getting noticed. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Well, as for that, I can have the ship hovering just above the sea line and we can swim down through there. What about as the rest of the guests? If he's holding a party, how are they going to, well, reach their destination? Shuttle. Shuttles. Can't we, in case things go awry, shouldn't we try to set up something to mess with the shuttles, maybe get them distracted? The guests will probably be evacuated, but if we fuck up the shadows, it's gonna, uh, the shuttles, it's gonna cause some chaos and buy us time. Wouldn't it be a better idea to sneak in with the shuttles as a backup plan? 
Couldn't they check the people that get off the shuttles? Depends who the party's for. Oh, I guess. But I'll leave those details to you. Uh, the way Jack's planning it, I'm gonna try and have two or three plays. So, like, if it works out great and we can get someone in on the shuttle, good, that becomes plan A. But I also want to have someone there who can drill a hole in the wall and we swimming away boys onto the ship parked above the ocean. You know, I want to have multiple plans of exit. 